What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News. And I got some new news for you concerning Brendan Schaub. You ask, who is Brendan Schaub? Brendan Schaub is a UFC fighter that he pretty much went on a rant. And it was uh, towards Anthony Joshua, you know, and, uh, you know, he was pretty much saying that until he fights Wilder, don't fight anyone. Don't fight Dillian White or whoever or until he fights the winner out of Fury Wilder, you know, give Wilder a chance. You know what I mean? Because he is the opponent. Don't fight anyone else. Don't fight anyone. The 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 fights won't be big anymore, you know, and I want to talk about that. I want to talk about what he said, where he was coming from and why he said it. I know why he said it. And don't get me wrong. I mean. That's true. The fights, the fight that everyone wants to see is Wilder. You know what I mean? Unless Fury beats Wilder, then it would be Fury Joshua. You know what I mean? I mean, Fury, uh, yeah, it'd be Fury Joshua. So, you know, but other than that, the other fights that are involved, you know, I had, I made a video about someone that he possibly could fight, you know, but other than that, there's really no one else that he can fight. There's no one left. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he could fight Jarrell Big Baby Miller, but no one really wants to see that. That fight didn't weren't wasn't in negotiations for a year or ever how long it lasted. Seven, eight, nine, ten months. Okay? It wasn't Jarrell Big Baby Miller. It was Deontay Wilder. See, that fight opened everyone's ears. It got everyone's attention. And then it didn't happen. You know, it, it, this is getting so much like Maypack that it's just ridiculous. You know, and then the sad thing about it, <clears throat> that's what it's going to have to do. You know, and it could be a good thing too. But let me talk about Brendan Schaub. Brendan Schaub is a UFC fighter. UFC and fans of UFC, they don't have to worry about fights getting made because you got one guy controlling the whole thing. He's the dictator. Teddy Atlas talked about that. He was absolutely right. Dana White, not only does he make the best fights, he makes the best fights on top of the best fights on top of the best fights. Then he does it over again. You know what I mean? So you don't wait a year and a half, two years, three years, five years for a fight because he makes those fights happen. You know what I mean? The only way they don't happen, someone gets injured. That's the only way. It's not, oh, uh, I don't have enough money. I want enough money. I'm pricing myself out. I don't want to work here. The network here the ne- versus this network over there. He doesn't have to worry about any of that. He makes the fight happen. It's done. Okay, you're fighting the best because this is what the fans want to see. And he, he gets it done. And they fight. No one, everyone shows up to fight nights. It does great numbers. And that's it. You know, and that's one of the problems with boxing. But also with boxing, he needs to understand this isn't UFC. You have different promoters, different networks, you know. So, yeah, he's he's criticizing Anthony Joshua. But what he doesn't know is it's not Anthony Joshua alone. You can't fault someone. You can't tell someone, hey, put your career on hold until you can fight the guy that everyone wants to see. You know what I mean? That's just like saying... Gold, that's like telling Golden State, hey, don't play any other teams, you know, until you play Cleveland. You know what I mean? It, it, that alone. I know I know he's frustrated like a lot of fans are of boxing and fighting in general. We get to see this fight happen, but <clears throat> he needs to understand that it's this isn't the UFC. You know, Dana White's not calling the shots. These guys have bosses. These guys work for different promotional companies. You know what I mean? And really to break it down, you know, Deontay Wilder has to submit to terms. And new news to that, um, Shelly Finkel, Finkel, he's not even going to sit down with Hearn, with Barry nor Eddie. He's, you know, and they stated that. So this is the second time he's turned down any negotiation to even talk. So what are we even talking about? There's nothing to be made. So you can't tell one guy that's promoters that's trying to make the fight, hey, you got to stop fighting until we see the best fight. That's not going to happen. You know what I mean? Because it's not about him. It's not, 
He's not the guy that's holding it up. Neither is his promoter at this point. You know, people wag their fingers and blame whoever they want to blame on this situation. But it's not Joshua alone. It's not Eddie Hearn alone. You know what I mean? They got to talk to other people to get this fight made. You know, Shelly, they want more money. And they are not accepting anything else. They're not accepting what's on the table. And it's pretty much final because it's now it's a it's a business war debate on, hey, what's this fighter worth versus what's this fighter going to take? You know what I mean? And that's what it is. So Deontay Wilder said it out of his own mouth. He has lost his pen. His, his pen is gone. His pen is in the ocean. OK, that's what he said. So, no, this fight can't happen. So for Brendan Schaub, I understand your frustration. But to criticize Anthony Joshua by yourself, you know what I mean? You don't have all the facts. You should see what the facts are. You know what I mean? You, you think about, you talk about money. UFC doesn't have this type of problem because UFC doesn't have this type of money except one guy. You know what I mean? Let's face it. You know, and his name is Dana White. Okay. So, yeah, those fights, unfortunately, don't get made because you have different guys with different contracts and different demands. You know, different egos, you know. All types of problems, different networks. And let's talk about the networks. That's another problem. You have Anthony Joshua fighting on the zone. Okay, that's an app. So if you want to see Anthony Joshua fight, you're going to have to get that app. If you wanted to see him fight, uh, <clears throat> perfected, you had to get that app. Okay, or some or hang around someone that does. Okay, that's the only way that you're going to see that fight. It wasn't on pay per view. You couldn't order it home. Okay, so that was the only way. Now, with Deontay Wilder, his next show is going to be him versus Fury. It's going to be at the Staples Center on pay-per-view. I don't know how much it's going to cost. But then, here's the thing. Deontay said he wouldn't even fight on the zone. So he spat on that idea anyway. So what are we even talking about? Again, this it hits a roadblock because you got two guys with two different promotions trying to go two different ways but call themselves wanting to fight. Deontay, obviously, he doesn't want to fight. He, you know, his dancing partner is Tyson Fury, and that's how it's going to be. But to tell another guy that don't want to fight him, <clears throat> tell another guy about a guy that don't want to fight, hey, you don't fight until this guy, until you fight this guy. You know what I mean? If that's the case, you know, I, I, just people don't have the facts. People don't do not have the facts, and it's sad. You know, and... Um, <clears throat> You know, and I think this fight is farther. I I was optimistic about this fight getting made, but then you don't even have the management or the promotional team of Deontay Wilder even trying to sit down with the, with the Joshua camp because one side is trying to pretend like they're the A side. So what they do, I'm pretending like I call the shot. So guess what? I'm not even going to negotiate because I'm the A side, you know. So the front of your shirt says A side, but the back of your shirt says B side. You know what I'm saying? So you got to have you you have to have people working on the same page. You know what I mean? They could work something out where it's on the zone and it's on pay-per-view. So the people that don't have it or whatever <clears throat> because I stay in a rural area. So it's not like like the zone doesn't work good for me here because the internet is slow. Okay, for one. So I would rather get it on pay-per-view through direct TV because that's who I, I I rock with, right? But but that they, they don't they don't deal with direct TV. They have no deal. So I had to get the app or I had to go somewhere with better service area, watching on a tablet or some other you know on my phone or whatever. That's the only way I I could watch it. That's why I was pissed off about the Pacquiao and Matisse fight because it was on ESPN Plus. OK, and I was pissed like, OK, I would rather buy the fight. Why is it on regular ESPN? And I could watch it right there from my home in my living room. You know what I mean? So but <clears throat> that was my hang up. So if they could work out a deal like that with Showtime and zone, can work together, get this fight made. The fight can be made. You know what I mean? But the thing is, will that happen? It's, as long as you got fighters just saying no or fighters, managers, promotional team that says, no, we won't even talk to this promotional team. It's not going to happen. So stop criticizing Anthony Joshua when you don't know the facts. Anyway, you guys tell me about what, what you think about this. Um, please subscribe. I'll leave the source below. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.